Hi, how's everybody doing today? My name is Coach Evan Nunez. Um, I am the co-defensive coordinator, secondary coach at Kansas Reese High School in Las Vegas, Nevada. Before that time, I was the head coach at El Dorado High School in Las Vegas, Nevada. And before that, I came from Trinity International University. This film is for defensive backs, coaches, and players. You guys, I think this is going to be a great film for you guys to expand on what you guys already have. And hopefully you guys learn something new uh, as we go through and we uh, go over these drills. So um, here we go. Let's dig into it. So the first drill that we're going to go over is the DB shuffle. Um, the DB shuffle is is used as a, a read step to dissect the short to intermediate deep uh, in the pass game. And we use it while we're reading quarterback three step. DBs are to use a short hop and carry out the action as a pedal. DBs is to start on the sideline and work their feet switching on a three count all the way to the hash. Uh, they are to do this at least twice, down and back. And down at the bottom, I have an asterisk next to defense. the defensive shuffle is a footwork that is done in all off man and zone drills. Also, the, the footwork is vital for efficient play in the secondary. And we'll go ahead and uh, show you what I mean. So this is the DB shuffle. So we use it as the readers. You see them working on the line. These are my kids from Trinity International University. And you can see it's a short hop. Watch them as you can see that they have good posture, good body lean, good forward lean as they're working their pedal back. And you want it to feel comfortable. It's a, it's the equivalent of a dance step. Okay. But you'll see how effective it is once I show you film of it. I would usually do this about three times, two to three times. A practice. worry about the big guy in the middle. That's just me. <laughs> so this is it in game play. Look at the corner at the bottom. Safety. The next drill that you're going to see is called the Clio. It's called a, it's a vertical shuffle, but the name that we gave it is Clio. The DB is to be in a press stance, and it's a shuffle backwards. 
The DB is to stay low and pick their feet up. It's almost like a galloping horse going backwards. Uh, the DB works uh, from sideline to the hash and do it at least twice. We do it the same as we would do the DB shuffle. It's imperative that they uh, that their feet stay shoulder length apart and they keep a solid base. This is the same technique used when you play a catch man or uh, playing catch coverage, catch man. As you can see, you see that they're staying down, staying in that press stance and they're working their feet. Making sure that they're picking them up and picking them uh, and putting them down. Pick them up and put them down is what I tell them. Pick them up, put them down. So you're gonna actually see me demonstrate to them exactly how I want it done and you'll see as they work backwards. Listen to me, guys. If your legs aren't burning after doing these drills, you're doing them totally wrong. Legs are going to hurt, but you have to understand that it is vital to do these things, these drills, to prepare yourself for Fridays and Saturdays, or for Fridays and Saturdays, okay? There's, without no pain, there's no gain. Strength is the legs. Making sure that you can be efficient when you're out there. If you play a man all the way across, you'll see them work their feet the same way in the Clio. The Clio allows you to give yourself room for when the receiver comes off the ball, it's allowing you to set a new line of scrimmage when you're in a press situation. Up here, you see the safety is going to work it because we're playing a quarter type skill, uh, a quarter type coverage, and you'll be able to see the safeties work the same way. You'll see the safety here as he works it. The next drill is called the DB slide, also known as basketball. So the DB slide is a 45 degree angle within the five yard box working from, working from one side to the other, all right? And this is done from the, from the sideline to the hash, done at least twice. This drill is great for press lateral movement and it definitely works in cover two. 
So for you basketball guys, you guys are probably just oh, just nothing but a basketball slide. Yes, yeah, is there definitely defensive slides in basketball? Mm -hmm. It's easy to translate one game to the other. I wish they keep their shoulders a little bit more square. It's still not a bad job being young by the So you'll see it in press, the work in their feet. That's not a bad rep, it is a good catch. So the next drill is called the tempo pedal break, okay? So it's technically an emphasis on speed. When you're playing DB, we always have to know that we want to be able to keep a marriage between receiver and DB, okay? We don't want to make ourselves too far from that, that, that receiver, giving him enough room for him to act the way that he wants to act to do what he wants to do. And that's where slowing down the pedal and being able to keep a nice relationship between the receiver and us makes us more efficient in the pass game because now we have an opportunity to get our hands on more balls, okay? So definitely an emphasis on speed. We want to play slow to play fast. We want to play slow to play fast. If we're playing slow, that means that we're being able to read, we're comfortable. But when we play fast, when we're when when it's time to play fast, that means that we seen what we needed to see, we know what they wanted to do, and now we're going ahead and we're making the play. That's the part of the playing fast part. And we do that by slowing down how fast our body movements are. Okay. The tempo pedal is used to make sure that we keep a comfortable relationship when guarding our opponent, okay? As I emphasized already, and like I said, it puts us in a better position to make a play. And you'll see it as we'll go ahead and we'll do this tempo pedal, you'll see them break. When the change of speed. And they're changing their feet every time they break.
get the ball out there, make sure that they catch the ball. The person that you feel deserves to catch, uh, deserves a ball throw, you just throw it to them as they work in your drill. And you can see here the change of speed. See me, I'm taking the ball. Closer I am, the slower they go. The further the ball's away from me, the faster they go. Okay. The next drill is called the tear em up, also known as the karaoke backpedal. Okay. Because it'd be like, oh, don't do drills that you really don't see them do in, in games and things like that. But let me tell you something about playing defensive backs. You have to ha have great hips. You gotta be able to turn and go. You have to be able to transition faster than any other position on the field. You were, okay, I'll put it to you. The only person that, can that needs to transition faster than us is a wide receiver because they gotta get in and out of the breaks. We're doing the same thing that a receiver does going backwards. So you have to be able to feel comfortable being uncomfortable. And without with the proper technique, there's no way that that can happen. So, with the emphasis on our hips being able for us to transition and move in different type of ways, you need to do certain things that are going to fire the hips up. And this is a great drill for me. It's a karaoke backpedal, and I call them the tear, uh, tear them up. Uh, great drill for hips. DBs is the full fire, turn the hips while, uh, while going backwards. After getting uh, some uh, depth, then they're going to break. Gonna do it about two or three times and they should be changing their feet each time. Tell you what, coach, if you, your kids can do this, they're going to learn how to dance real soon. They're going to be some, some good dancers out there. Trust me when I tell you that. You want to let those hips go. Moving those feet, firing those feet, letting them hips go. Can't play DB with tight hips. Got to be able to let your hips go. Almost like they're in a washing machine. If you see the agitator moving side to side, it doesn't go in a circle. It rotates, moves go side to side. That's the same way that our hips need to be when we're out there playing in that backfield. So the next drill that we have is the X drill. DBs will, will work the read step into the tempo pedal and break 45 degrees downhill to the left. Then the player will gather and do the same thing going back to the line that they started. So it's a W drill, but instead of it being us continuously being in the double, in the W drill, now we're crossing back over, okay? When working these drills, make sure that you're, you always incorporate the deep B shuffle. That read step means everything. Because it's technically your controller for your tempo. Okay. All 
All right. So now we have weave, pedal, and brake. So the DB will start on the line just like how you've been seeing them do. They're going to weave into that five yard box to the other line, keeping their shoulders square to the line of scrimmage, and then straighten up into their pedal, brake, and come back downhill and work it just like the extra. Okay. As you can still see, they're working a re-step every time that they do the drill. Every time they come back down and they get back to a start position, DB shuffles at work. Always remember when you're coming out your break, make sure that you have bonded arms. You should be coming downhill with everything you have. So arms is very, very key. Pay attention to safety. So now we transition to the change of direction and cone drills, okay? Okay, so you're gonna have the weave to shuffle drill. So you're gonna go weave to shuffle to run. DB is to weave for five yards, shuffle for five yards and turn and run for five yards to open up hinge step, turn and go. Here's the hinge. This is him turning and going. As you see, I'm straightening the guy, and you see me move. The DB is to move on my on my movement. So whenever I start to take a step forward, that's when he when he needs to go. Great drill for change of direction. What you don't also see, it's hard for you guys to see, is the emphasis on the eyes. As they get back, as they're working their feet, they take their three, their eyes are in a transition phase. They're looking inside. When I give them the movement, they take their read and then their eyes shoot back to the DB, uh, shoot back to the receiver or to me. And then when they do the shuffle and they get into their run, as they hinge step and open up, their eyes automatically get back to see where that ball is, like their zone read. All right.
you see Kip Falls, that's because when he tried to transition, he stayed on his heels. Can't be on your heels playing DB. Feels, kid. Okay, so the next drill now is going to be almost exactly like the same drill we just got done seeing, but this time, instead of them starting off in their pedal, they're going to pat pat or flat foot read and then drop to a 45 degree five yard shuffle, turn and run for five, and then open up and run. Okay, I'm sorry. So on this one, they're gonna open up hinge and then come back down on comeback. Another great change of direction drill. Now instead of them running it out, or just his own turn it and turn it and run. Now we're gonna say, okay, they broke comeback. We seen them, now they're in their blind spot. Now they have to turn out of it. Definitely a great drill for the safeties. Those box players, those those spurs, and your four two five, those uh, that strong safety in, in cover three, because you have to remember those guys are the equivalent of linebackers, and in, 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 you know, to a defense, they're they're exactly the same player, just smaller. So if you can take them with their feet in that area, they're in, the, in that way playing as that down guy, this drill works very, very well for them to get their mechanics together, okay?
reason you do all of these change these change of direction drills is transition solely transition we have to be able to transition we have to be able to go from one place to the other have to be able to go from one place to the other we have to be able to stop from being full speed and changing our change of, uh changing where we need to go and get to where we need to be as fast as we possibly can so these drills help you to train the muscles to go from fast or from slow to fast and from one way to the other all about learning your body position how you would stop the change it's very very imperative that you're able to change direction playing the game of football and especially change direction in the secondary we will constantly change uh, we constantly have to change direction depending on what they're giving us and if you see the dbs you see some of the corners doing uh doing the drill but they're not doing the drop because they're not they don't do that too much what they do like they don't do it at all so what they were doing you saw the dbs working they would just turn and they would just roll off like they were running with the wheel. Okay. Okay, so now we have the W drills, all right? So when we work in these W drills, see them work to read, and out of break, now watch them as they turn and go. They're working the hinge and coming back down. So it's the same thing that you just seen the, sa- the, uh, the safety's doing, but now I got everybody doing it. Now everybody's working from the DB, uh, from their pedal, half uh, half hinge, to come back out of it, working comeback, working against the comeback from that blind spot. This time they're rolling with the wheel. So you get that hitch and go, sit down. Oh, you got me. No, you don't. Uh, we're just doing hand. We're going to open up and we're going to run with you. Boom. And you see them as they know that there's a guy running that hitch. You can see the DB taking his hand and his eyes and dropping it down to say, okay, I'm done. I'm going to hit. And now we're going to run. Lining arms out to break, make sure that our arms are violent. 
I'm on a horse to stop moving my arms from moving when we getting out of our break. Remember, we're taking our body weight. Everything was going backwards. We were sticking our foot in the dirt on the T-step, and we're pushing through to get out of that break. So now we're doing it going the other way. Work their feet. They full their bodies, guys. Keeping their feet underneath them in the pedal. Okay, so this one is rapid fire versus press man working against releases, okay? So listen, you're gonna line up however DB, how many DBs you have, we self-serve each other, line up with however many DBs you have. And you go ahead and you put your head DB, you put your one DB right in the front and he's working against all releases. He's a yard and a half off the ball, keeping keeping inside leverage on the receiver we want to be lined up or at least splitting their body in half and we're going to go ahead and we're going to work if they go slap we want to drive the hip if they turn and run we want to be able to turn and run with them, all right now this is the thing the db is going off of the receiver's movement so you don't have anything to do with it. all you say is next man up and you blow the whistle and whoever goes is gone, but it's on the receiver movement. Whenever the receiver go, that's when the play is gonna start. want to make sure running with man we want to make sure that we run to that hip we make sure that we're not looking back for the ball until we get to the hip
Okay, guys, I got something for you guys. All right, this is a shock and shed drill. This is a great non-contact drill. Um, if you got a, a one-man sled, even a two-man sled, it'll work well. So you're gonna start in your back of pedal. He's gonna go up to the one-man sled. He's gonna lift that up. We threw an extra bag out there to chop, to, to simulate a chop. He's to put his hands down and get off the chop, and then he's gonna go through and tackle the, the tire wheel, the tackle wheel. move, making sure they get in the back. So you say, oh, well, you'll never have to get off of a guy. And then you'll never have to put your hand. You don't know what you'll have to do when you're in the game. You know, you see, he was a freshman. Babies make mistakes. Everybody make mistakes, you know. Shots get off the bag. I'm going to play off of that. Go ahead and he makes the play. See it in the game. See here. Shock, get off. So we got here. Shock, shock, shock. Get rid of them. Put them on the shoulder. Make the play in the backfield. Tackle for loss. I swear by these drills, coach. Here, get rid of that. And we're in the play. Now you're going to see the corner work off of it. Shock, shock, shock. Get rid of them. Throw them off the way. Bang. Tackle made here. Everybody's there. I hope that these drills would help you guys in whatever you guys are trying to do in the defensive backfield, however you want to get better at being a football player, period. It, it all translates. Um, Follow me on Twitter. My Twitter is at Evan, E-V-A-N, underscore, Nunez, N-U-N-E-Z, 2-4. Thank you guys for your time. Thank you for taking the opportunity to check out this, um, this drill tape. Hopefully you guys will go off and do some great things with it. Thank you, and God bless.